Hi, my name is Tracy, and this is my August Click Kits uh, Summer Lights by Paige Evans. And I wanted to show everything that I was able to make with the kit. Um, this is the first time that I, I mean, I I feel like I totally killed this kit. Um, this is all the paper I have left, and it's even a branding strip. Um, I have used. Uh, enough of these letters. I have very few vowels left. Quite a few numbers still. Um, and uh, I didn't use this from the kit. The colors to me didn't match enough for me, so I'll have to do that totally, you know, something totally different. I had purchased the pineapples, um, and I didn't use any of those, but that's okay because I know I will one day. And I didn't use any of the shells. It's a little too bulky for me. It's probably something I'm not going to put inside the album, but maybe like on a cover of a mini album. And then I didn't use any of the Paul fronds, even though I love the colors of them. Now, as for the the embellishments, I did purchase the chipboard uh, stickers. Um, oh God, I love those. And I have several of those left over, and I put powder on the back. So they wouldn't be so sticky. I have some embellishments, embellishments left, and then um, the specialty sheet. I still have several of those that I'll just save for another time. All right, I was able to make six pages in a mini album, and I wanted to share with you what I had created. So let me show you. This was the first page that I did. Um, this was using the creamies, which I did buy. Uh, the, I used a brush. This is not the packaging technique. I kind of like this better than the packaging technique. It is a bolder color. Um, I love that I was able to use the, the alpha. Um, I, I just love this alpha, even though I know it probably doesn't, um, it doesn't do well with, you know, with pictures. Um, of all everything in the kit besides the ice cream stuff that I really didn't care for is in the sequin mix I don't really care for the shells but that is my personal preference um, I was able to use up quite a few of them in in my mini album which I'll show you in just a moment but this I wanted to share how I was able to take an old photograph from 1996 in a new kit and make um, a really cool page. And then the second page that I did was this beautiful sunset beachy. Oh my gosh, I love this paper. And there's just no way I could have cut that. Uh, it was just perfect. And it reminded me of when we went to Catalina. Uh, we went, went for our birthday. Um, this is Munchkin, and this was a number of years ago, uh, but I wanted to, to make sure that I captured that, and it, I thought this turned out so well. And I have the sequins kind of like the stars, because this is kind of at sunset. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And then the third page I made was this. Uh, this is a, a die cut, or a... Uh, cut file and I am so sorry I don't remember where I got it from um, and um, I have a scan and cut instead of a silhouette and this is uh, so I used my scan and cut to cut it out um, I am unable to have a silhouette because I have Chromebook as a computer and silhouette isn't compatible with Chromebook so it, it can be a challenge to use the cut files with the scan and cut, but I made it work here. Anyway, these are my two youngest daughters. And this one here, this is where I had painted with the creamies on, even with the slick paper of the specialty paper, it went really well. And then, then I made my mini album. And so these are some of the uh, pa uh, pages that I made layouts that I made after I made my mini album trying to use up my stuff so um, for one thing this is painted on again with the creamies with the sequins this is alpha from my stash I think it's Amy Tan I'm not sure and I know that this is uh, the Tim Holtz um, or oh you know it's not it's oh now I don't remember but this was from my stash and that was from my stash and I believe everything else came from the kit.
so it um, and I wanted like I explained it says please don't ask this is my daughter Munchkin a um, number of years ago she had gone with a friend to go to Toys R Us for whatever reason and she climbed into the middle shelf into this toddler bed and her friend took this picture and I actually got this picture from her Facebook um, I, yeah, I'm one of those moms who stalks my kids' Facebook and grab the pictures there and I scrap uh, those pictures and they don't even know. <laughs> so funny. Okay, and then the fifth page that I made was this one. And this is the end of the big pieces of paper. And I uh, was, you know, trying to use up what I could of it. I used, I think, the rest of the stickers. Um, here is a flare. But, you know, when I was putting it together, it was, um, you know, I had inked around the edges with gray, and it was just kind of getting lost. So, uh, you know, I kind of slept on it, and then the next day I thought, you know what, why don't I add some black? And that's what it needed. So, using the black now this I got, it was something free that I had received from Pretty Little Studios. You know, if you order so much from them, they send you a bunch of free stuff. So that is uh, where that came from, as well as this right here. And this, I don't remember. It's a, I got it. It's a cut file. I know this one is. And the sequins that I love so much. And then this is the last page that, this is where I use the rest of the paper and this on the background is the creamies and I did use the packaging technique which you know it's not my favorite thing to do but you know it works okay for for this page and I got this idea totally from Missy Wooden because I have never done banners before ever 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 and I wanted to give it a try because I only had just little bitty scraps of paper and even this paper uh, isn't from the kit at all but I had the color of the shimmers and and it was actually on my desk so I went ahead and just grabbed it and used it and it went perfect uh, I was able to use the rest of the flare this is the last of the stickers um, actually oh, the for sure and to the beach that is it there were some little seashells that were left on the sticker sheet and I just threw those away because I have them still in the uh, chipboard and in the uh, ephemera pack so I, I didn't need the stickers for those all right so let me show you my mini album that I made and I'm sorry I had untied it already but this is how I close it because it has this page sticking out right here and this of course being the cover this is where I like to add the majority of the bulk this is a shaker card or a shaker element where this is where I use those shells that I really don't care for but it went perfect because this is when we went to Florida um, I was so excited when I saw that Paige Evans had this beautiful line um, and knew it was going to be perfect for my summer um, vacation photos that uh, my daughter Munchkin and I, we had gone to Peru for a few days to Machu Picchu and then on the way back, because uh, we flew in and out of Miami, we spent a few days in Florida before coming home. So that this is just the Florida end of it. I will be doing one for my uh, Peru because of um, I did buy the line before uh, before I saw that the Click Kits was going to use it for September, all the llamas. So I have, I'll show you that um, at another video. All right, so here it is. Let me open it up. Now this page here is where I use the paintbrush and using the, you know, everything here is from the kit. And of course we have to have gelatos. And this is where we went to Key West and had mojitos and margaritas on the beach using the frames here. I accented it with a silver pen um, to kind of go with the, the letters here and, you know, to kind of balance everything out. I did some hand stitching here, which is very unusual for me, but um, I did it. I, I like the element, the texture that it gave. Um, I don't do it very often. It takes too long for me, but it does look, um, I think it looks nice. And 
This I love. This is probably my favorite page in this little mini album because I loved how all this went, went together and just the, oh gosh, the watercolorness of it. And then I love how the sequins it made it look like um, seashells on the beach. And these are chipboard, and what I did is I peeled away some of the thickness from the chipboard so that I still wanted the element of the chipboard without it being too thick, and then I used some wet glue to glue it down, and this is also chipboard. This is covered up. Uh, it is a picture of a loggerhead turtle that I needed to have on this page that we were fortunate enough to be able to go see loggerheads lay eggs on the beach. They only do it at night and they only do it at certain times of the year, but we happened to be there whenever there was a tour that uh, at Palm Beach. We met at the Hope Sound Na Nature Center and I made reservations months ahead of time to go. It was um, it was well worth it. She laid a hundred eggs. They'll take two months for them to hatch. Um, and we followed her. Uh, after she laid her eggs, she covered them up and we followed her to the water and said au revoir. And um, it, was, it was fascinating. So I needed to make sure that I saved that memory and I had to get a picture from the internet because I couldn't take pictures at night, nor you know, would you want to take pictures and scare the, the turtle while she's laying her eggs. All right, and we had gone on the Jungle Queen, which is a riverboat, and this is the picture of the riverboat, which I also got from the internet. Uh, this was so fun. Um, I know we're tourists, and I recommend it. So if anybody's in Fort Lauderdale, I recommend doing the Jungle Queen. Uh, we took the riverboat, saw the million dollar homes, we went to an island, had awesome food, we saw a show, they have animals there, it was a lot of fun. Now here, this is the, the creamies, I don't know if you can tell, it's, um, it's, it's actually two of the yellows that, uh, you know, that I had purchased, and the sequins. And this is uh, the Letters are from my stash. I think it's the Amy Tan. This is also chipboard that I had peeled back. Um, to me, this was the best day of the trip. It was a food tour of Little Havana. Oh my goodness. This, I highly recommend this food tour. It, it, it was phenomenal. We had the best food, the best Cuban food. Oh my gosh. And it yeah, so I recommend it. But anyway, so sequins everywhere. Um, and then uh, I wanted to brag a minute about the background here. I took all the colors of the creamies that I purchased and I made a plaid from it. And I did it one continuous sheet and then I cut it in half. And so I used it as the background on both of these. And I thought this turned out fantastic. I was very impressed. Uh, this let, is the same as before the Amy Tan. I know this is from Pretty Little Studio uh, from uh, Wish You Were Here uh, line that they have, you know, the ones with the llama. That's, that color is from. And then that is it. I totally love this, um, this line. Anyway, thank you, and uh, stay tuned for other videos. I'm hoping to get more up. I'm learning how to do the video thing, so um, if you'd like to see more, if you'll just hit, um, you know, uh, subscribe, and then like if you like it. Um, I'd love to hear any comments, you know, if, any suggestions, be kind. Um, I've been scrapbooking for 25 years, so um, I'm always up for trying new things. So anyway, everyone, I hope you have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye.